Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. It is 8.01, and I spent the first half an hour of the day, yes, mm -hmm. uh, trying to unlock this phone without having to turn it off. Yeah. Now, somehow, the recording uh, that I usually do, yeah, it ended up on personal message instead of record. Mm -hmm. Caused a sensitivity in the microphone, yes, so that if my voice was loud, you couldn't hear what I was saying. <laughs> And then the video didn't work. Right. You you locked the operating system of the phone. Yeah. So that I'd be obligated to uh, turn it off or take the battery out. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then uh, through that process, you jumped the battery so I would no longer be able to use this phone. Yeah. That was a real good plan. Mm -hmm. Now, I just wanted to remind the police and the sheriff's departments of their obligation to arrest terrorists. Mm -hmm. Mm. Did you pay the payroll last night? Oh. Did you come the money? Oh. Well, listen, dog. Yes. Every time you come the money, you're using your sexual nerve endings to pay uh, people to be terrorists. Oh. Now, today it's Tuesday, the 19th of November. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. Yes. And I have a very busy schedule. Oh. <laughs> See, my thought was that the police were going to enforce the laws. Yes. And that when they did that, I was going to get custody of my sons because they were going to remove the fraud of their court orders. Oh, then I was going to talk to Marilyn about living with me. Mm -hmm. She was going to bring her kids. Yes. And we were going to reside in a hotel room. Yeah. But you decided that you were going to violate the laws of the United States. It's another day of the police department refusing to acknowledge the laws. Yes. Is that what it is, Sheriff? Oh. Now, last night I did a little research about due process, <clears throat> and we're going to spend the day talking about it. Yes. See, procedural due process. <clears throat> oh, what happened to my phone? Oh, did you change both phones again? <laughs> did you, dog? <laughs> did, you, did you set me up right now? I'm going to want you in prison, and I'm going to want everything that you're going to own. Yes, when you get out. <clears throat> It's called restitution, and that's what you pay for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. Now, you thought you were funny, but procedural due process yes. mm -hmm. is very important. It's pursuant to the due process clause in the 5th and 14th Amendment. Mm -hmm. Government entities, including state and federal agencies, yes. must follow certain procedures before taking action. Yes. There are certain procedures that every court must follow before taking action. <laughs> now, that affects an individual's life, <laughs> mm -hmm. liberty, or property. Mm -hmm. Now, those procedures allow an individual the opportunity to be heard and thereby influence oh, the outcome of the government's action. Mm -hmm. They also serve as a safeguard against unfair deprivation. <clears throat> Unfair deprivation. <laughs> More than a century of Supreme Court decisions have helped define when an individualized proceeding is required. Yeah. What constitutes protected liberty and property interests. Ah. And what processes must be in place for a fair procedure. <clears throat> The 5th and 14th Amendment enumerate life, liberty, as property. Yes. As interests worthy of due process protection. Mm -hmm. Criminal proceedings hooch, resulting in imprisonment or capital punishment are the most frequent government actions yes, that may lead to deprivation of life. Mm. In fact, mm -hmm, the procedural due process requirements in criminal cases are so important. Oh, that most were made part of the Constitution itself, mm. including the right to a jury trial, oh, the right to counsel, oh, the right uh, against self-incrimination, among others. Mm. Now, I'm going to put a picture of this in today's email, yes, because I'm planning on going to the senior center at some point, yes, then I'm going to email the Port Angeles Police Department, yes, what it says! Now, 
mm -hmm. for the individuals in the employment of the police department. Mm -hmm. This procedural due process is very important. Mm -hmm. They included it in the Constitution. Yes. Now, you have knowledge of approximately 24 of the 27 amendments of the Constitution being violated. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, you thought you would just say I was crazy. Yes. Now, yesterday I talked about the issuing of court orders that have enslaved myself and my family. Yes. Well, you did not actually think that the procedures necessary to issue a dissolution of marriage have to be enforced. <laughs> See, my wife convinced you that she had no knowledge where I was at. Right now. Right now. But I'm going to want to use those courts today. Mm -hmm. I'm going to want to sue the Port Angeles Police Department. Yes. I'm going to want to sue each and every officer of the police department. Yes. Because these processes, known as the procedures of due process, mm. have been violated since Heidi moved to Clallam County yes. on the 3rd of July of 2011. Mm. They have. I would suggest yes. that each and every officer of the law <clears throat> go back to whatever books it has. I mean, you have a book there someplace in the police department. Yeah. You do have some list of the actual laws of the United States. Yes. Something that if you filled out a police report, yes. you could say this is the RCW of the state of Washington. Yes. This is the crime, mm -hmm. and this is what is violating the law itself yeah. that requires you to arrest. Now, pursuant to the due process clause yeah. in the 5th and 14th Amendment, uh, government entities known as police departments, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. sheriff's departments, yes. judges and judiciaries, All right now, the FBI, mm -hmm. Homeland Security, ooch, the Postal Service, right, the State National Guard, ooch, ooch, the state government, inclusive of the Supreme Court, <clears throat> the state legislature, right now, right now, and the executive branch of Washington State should all understand as government entities yes. that there are procedures that must take place before the government takes action. Mm. Now, I'd like this government to take some action today. Today! 